Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice problem which involves indices and literally many could not do. See now please understand these kind of sums. Okay. Lot of people think that you know you have to use logs. They would do this 11 minus x and then take log on both sides. Yes, you can do all of that. I'm not saying you're not you're not wrong. But in these kind of scenarios where something like this is given okay and one very important thing which was given i forgot to mention was what x is a natural number okay x belongs to natural number so here in this scenario we know that it doesn't have decimal point it is a proper number plus we also know that this is a positive number so now when you know all of this what we do is we'll try to put the values of x directly Okay, so here we'll do what to, let, let's take x as 1. So 2 plus, 2 raised to 1 plus 1. That is obviously not equal to 11. Now let's try for 2 raised to 2. 2 raised to 2 plus 2. That is also not equal to 11. Now let's try 2 raised to 3 plus 3. That gets you, 2 raised to 3 is 8 plus 3. That gets you 11. So here from this I can directly say that the value of x is nothing but 3. Okay. Now please understand. A lot of people don't know how you can do this orally by just putting the values. But if you have some scenarios where they have given you options and this looks as tricky. Okay. When this looks like really tricky and you might have to apply logs and the options are direct numbers like 3, 2, 1, 4. Something like that. Then what you have to do is just put the options and get your answer. That also works. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.